Welcome everyone, here are tips and tricks for the Nothing Phone 1. So first of all, if you press and hold the power button, it's going to activate the Google Assistant. So how on earth do you power off Nothing Phone 1? Well, what you do is you press and hold the power key and the volume up key at the same time, do a quick click and release, and you'll see the power off menu just like this. However, what if you want to change Nothing Phone 1, so when you press and hold the power button, it brings you the power off menu. Well, what you do is you open up the settings app. From here, you're going to find where it says apps. You're then going to find assistance. You're then going to find hold power for your assistance and turn this toggle off. Now, when you press and hold the power button, you're going to get the power off menu. Did you know if you slide down from the top once, slide down from the top one more time, you have this power icon here. And when you tap into that one, it will bring you into the same menu. Did you know that if you long press on the power off option, it will also give you the option to reboot into safe mode. What this will do is it will disable all of the apps you downloaded from Google Play or any other third party application so that if it's causing issues, you can delete those apps. Did you also know while we are in the control center, again, you slide down from the top once, slide down from the top one more time. Uh, if you tap on, you see these icons here where it says Bluetooth, mobile data, Wi-Fi hotspot. If you tap below the on or off text, it will bring you into this view right here where you can quickly turn on your hotspot, turn on or off your SIM card and turn on the Wi-Fi. And with the Bluetooth, you'll be able to connect to Bluetooth devices. Did you also know if you long press on these toggles, it will bring you straight into the network and internet page or the respective Bluetooth page. You can also long press on some other toggles in the control center here. Not all toggles will work, so long pressing on the torch doesn't do anything. With the future Android 13, it will give you the brightness slider. If you tap on the pencil here, you can actually change which icons are in your control center. So maybe you want the data saver, long press on the toggle, drag and drop where you would like. And then when we go back here, let's slide across. And let's see, uh, the camera will add it. I think I had the data saver. Boom, you can see it right there. Did you also know from the control center, this is where you screen record. You can see the option to record audio, show touches on the screen, and then you can customize the recorder here. When you want to start, just tap on the start button. You will see a countdown at the top. And when you're ready to stop, slide down from the top once, tap on stop. If you just slide down from the top once, you will see all notifications here. Uh, if you would like to you know, go into the notification itself, let's say this free fire, you tap into it and it will open up the app in question. If you slide to the left like so, this will close out of all of your notifications. If you tap on the arrow, this will expand and you can, uh, you can also slide to the left as well to close out of your notifications if you would like to. Uh, if you've ever wanted to take a screenshot, maybe there's a cat picture or something like that, all you do is you do a quick click of the power and volume down key, so click release. If you're having issues with the click and release, did you also know you can just press and hold the power and volume down key together, and then that will also take a screenshot. If you've ever used other Androids, uh, you may be a bit confused on how on earth you do a split screen, because there's no taskbar, there's no sidebar. So in order to do a split screen in Nothing Phone 1, all you do is you open up the first app you want to split screen, open up the second app you want to split screen, then tap on the multitask icon right here. You're going to see the messages icon or whatever icon, tap on it. You will then see split screen and then just tap on the second app and you'll be split screening. Now at the time recording, when you double tap the white bar, it will not flip the applications which are in split screen. However, that, that will be coming in a future Android update. You can also slide the white bar to change the percentage of zoom which the applications have so if you want a larger app on a smaller app you can do that as well this whole time you may have noticed i'm using these buttons here but what if you want to use gestures a more modern approach to android so open up the settings app from here you're going to scroll all the way down until you see system from here you're going to find gestures and then system navigation and change to gesture navigation. Uh, in order to use gesture navigation, you do a quick flick up to go home, to so flick up, slide up and hold in order to access the multitasking view. 
when you're in an app, you slide from the left to right or right to left to go back. And you can also slide the bar to quickly change between the applications of choice you would like to. So there are some tips and tricks for the Nothing Phone 1. The software is a little bit limited at the moment, so it's mostly like stock Android. However, if there are any changes, of course, I'll have an updated video. So that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.